All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you wanted to be like Bruce Lee. You wanted to be that fast. You wanted to be that charismatic. You wanted to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. All right, so an interesting stylistic clash here. Prevailing Wisdom is he's going to try to take his opponent down and get off some of that patented ground and pound. Yes, and once he's on top, he starts to just gain control first. He does not try to rush to the next position because he understands whether or not he's in the guard, half guard, or side control, he can find ways to land big damage. In the side control, he does a really good job of going knee on belly, posturing right. his body all the way to the top, and just coming down with big punches. Boom, once he lands, he goes back and he secures. Right. Then he goes back to find another, another big strike. He does not waste energy just throwing little rabbit punches. Everything has to matter, as you've seen in some of the great ground and pound fighters we've right. ever seen, like Jack Hermanson, the guy that beats you into the bottom of the octagon until you roll over and give up your neck to get submitted. Yeah, nothing pitter-patter about it. No. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Awesome! UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Well, whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, that's gonna soften him up. Massive knee to the body. He's getting lit up right now, John. Some real power shots here. Oh! Oh! 
Looking to land the leg kick now. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big knee there. Commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Beautiful body. Right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Good jab. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Scuffs the takedown, no problem. Body got it up, but didn't get it to the target. Blocked there by Lee. Still nice body kick. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh! Massive kick to the head. Oh! Just missed on that spinning attack. Nice combination of kicks once again. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, wow! Head kick! Oh! Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the bars. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Left hand punches the clinch. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. It's not over. Oh, beautiful counter with the jab. Ooh, head kick land. Hurt. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Over and over, he landed his big body. Damaging strike there. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Oh, nice jab there by Lee. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Story. Oh, dude just got worked by that uppercut. His chin went oh. all the way up to the ceiling. Diving punch lands. What an end to round one. Oh, how about the end of that round? He got knocked down just before the horn, saved by the bell. So now back to the stool. He has only 60 seconds to recover. We'll see if physically he can keep himself in this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Round two here. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. 
straight punch lands. Look at how he turns his hips into that leg kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Right under the elbow, the body keep land. Can't take many of those, you better check. These lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of slump. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he's a telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh! I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big kick land. Oh, nice. Way to hide that leg There's no give on that leg kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? How good is that right hand? Single collar tie now. Hand right there, his opponent's wobble chin. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, and he got told. Oh. oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left. He went high on that one. 30 seconds to go in round two. He continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. You certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Lee gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Good stick. Ooh, what a head kick. Lee's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. 
Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. That's a big strike right there. Fighters exchange in the pocket here. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up with the jab. You see his opponent's head popping back every time he lands. Oh, and he lands another punch there. And you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Right hand upstairs. Just out of range for that punch attempt. Left hand punch to the clinch. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Battling for hooks. Three minutes to go in the round. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh, like score. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Oh, man, head kick lands. Such a fast leg kick. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Trying to stay in this fight. Straight right hand now just misses. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Nice right here. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's won in the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Now he's got the more time to Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Great punch landing with so much power. Let's go, 
guys. Run. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Beautiful body. Just misses with the jab. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Yeah. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop it. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, big punch land. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, a big knee! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Out of range with that one. Drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising is only getting worse. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Very tricky when he throws that body. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that a little... Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes in. Pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And now he's got the tie clinch. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. And there comes the separation now. Oh, single collar tie here. Great punch. Good series of strikes for him. Oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. What a body kick. Oh, nice. Nice. That one appeared to stun him. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and 
Defensively, you better be careful. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Gets up again here. Whoa! in a great performance by this young man. I'm not sure any heavyweight would have beat this champion, this man here tonight, the UFC heavyweight king, getting it done by TKO. The flurry of strikes just absolutely too much for his opponent here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 16 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO. Planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. He successfully retains the title here tonight and does so by TKO. Nice embrace there with the head coach. This is a 